Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, it was pleasant outside this morning and actually right now, yeah. but I know things are going to change as the day goes on. Yes, so our typical flow, we're starting to see storms in southern Tennessee and in the shoals, mm -hmm. and those are going to continue to track east through the rest of the day. Mm, anything severe? We could see severe risk later yeah. on for only, well, we'll talk about it, but only a few of us are in that severe weather risk. The rest of us are not. However, the storms, those are going to be widespread, Demetria. Take a look at 31 triple Doppler at the moment, 1117 this morning on your Tuesday. And like we talked about, our heaviest concentration of rain sitting in our southern Tennessee counties and then west of the corridor. Now, this is tracking east of Florence. So Waterloo, you're going to be dry for a little bit. Cherokee, you're going to be dry for a little bit. But the system tracking east right along the state line, Line. More of us will see storms, though, as we head through the rest of this afternoon. Now, if you do live east of the corridor in Sand Mountain, you are in a level one out of five risk for severe weather today. That does include far eastern Mad Madison County as well. Our biggest risks for today are gusty wind and isolated ponding on roads. But even though only Sand Mountain is in that severe risk, all of the rest of us could see storms as well. Now, it looks like we're going through future radar here pretty quick, but let's go back and start it over. So we'll We'll start to see these storms around lunchtime continue to develop through the late afternoon, but then the strongest of our storms develop right through dinner time. And in fact, they'll even stay with us through the wee hours of the morning. So today is a day that you definitely want to have the way 31 storm tracker weather app downloaded and those notifications on loud in case we do need to wake you up overnight tonight. Now, if it's 530 and you're just leaving work, we will see thunderstorms in the area at that time. So make sure you have your umbrella with you and you pad an extra few minutes for that evening commute and I am expecting scattered to widespread thunderstorms to stay in the forecast all through dinner time today as well. Here's a look at what you can expect that biggest chunk of storms that we're going to see around 3 p.m. to around 7 8 p.m. But notice we're not completely dry at any point today, meaning that any of us could see a pop up thunderstorm thanks to this cold front that's moving through 82 degrees right now as your feels like temperature in Muscle Shoals 89 in Huntsville 88 in Gunnersville and 86 over in Haleyville as we head through the rest of this afternoon our highs today will sit in the upper 80s of course the storms in the cloud cover we're seeing kind of putting a dampener on that high temperature we'll keep the scattered thunderstorms throughout the entire day today but here's the good news when you're picking your little one up from school around 3 3 30. That should be right in that afternoon block where things are starting to get just a touch drier. So hopefully they'll be good to go when they get on the bus or off the bus or in the carpool lane. We will be mostly dry at that point before the stronger of the storms return a little bit closer to dinner time. Now the good news about this cold front aside from the severe weather today is that by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I'm tracking sunshine but also well below average temperatures. So those of you who have been just waiting for fall to come, well I don't think this is fall here to stay, but at least it's a little preview. We'll have high temperatures sitting in the mid and low 80s for the rest of the work week with several days having wake up temperatures in the upper 50s. So it's the perfect time to be outside, have that morning cup of coffee on the back porch or take a dog on the walk during lunch. I am tracking two systems in the Atlantic. Hurricane Lee spinning at 115 miles an hour, traveling almost due north into northern Maine and Nova Scotia by the time we get to later this weekend. Just east of that, we're looking at Hurricane Margot just officially a category one spinning at 85 miles an hour tracking north looking to stay in the ocean and not impact us anywhere on the mainland US. So that certainly is good, but a whole lot to monitor in that part of the world. We're going to keep the sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We've got some isolated storms coming back Saturday afternoon. Sunday will dry up, but take a look at that. Our high temperatures only in the low 80s. And then when you wake up Monday, we're waking up in the 50s. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I wasn't ready for you to say the 50s. I'm like, oh, she's going to say 60s, 70s. I, know. I just watched you react to that. <laughs> exactly. Only 105 days until Christmas. Though. Oh, my goodness. We got to so start your start. shopping now. I was just about to say that we need to make those lists and save up the money. Most importantly, mm -hmm. right? you're right. right. Thank you. Grace. Thank you.